Cognos is a wonderful BI platform, but it does not handle write backs to database very well. By no means should Cognos be considered a data entry platform, but there are times when you may want to store some comments associated with the specific report. Writing some notes or comments back to database for an entry on the report. Though there is no direct functionality provided in Cognos Report Studio, but it is still possible to achieve it by putting together multiple tools. For example, business wants to see sales figure by products. They want to write some comments for the products from the same interface. The comments need to be stored in the database for future retrieval and updating. For this tutorial, you'll need access to Backend Database and Framework Manager. We will begin with Database Objects. There are two steps we need to perform in Database. Step 1, we need to create a table. And Step 2, we need to create a stored procedure. We will start by creating a table in the database to store the comments entered by users. For this, open your database client and create a table. In this recipe, we are using a simple table created in SQL Server. The table is defined as follow. We are in Management Studio and we are going to create a table called Comments in GoSales database. This table has about five columns and we are defining a primary key on ID column. Primary key is required, otherwise framework will generate a blob error. Using a blob or large textual column in a query requires that the query subject must have either a key or a unique index. Our table is successfully created. Now we go ahead and create the store proc. In the second step in the database, we'll go ahead and create a store procedure called insert comment. This store proc takes four parameters and then we insert these four parameters in insert comment table. In this proc, we also select from comment table where product ID equals product parameter. Let's execute this code to create the store proc. Now we are done with the database part. Let's go ahead and import the store proc into framework. Now open your framework manager and import the store procedure and comment table. I am working with great outdoor sales sample model provided by Cognos. In this model, expand database view and create a folder called custom calculation. Right click and run metadata wizard. Choose data sources as metadata source and click next. Select appropriate data source and click next. Expand schema where database objects are located. Select your table and store proc. I'll uncheck facts and click import. Import process is complete and we have successfully imported two query subjects. Make sure usage type is set properly for query items. I'll go ahead and make these adjustments. Once you import a store procedure, it appears as a broken query subject. This is due to input parameters. We need to configure the input parameters as prompts. We are going to create four prompts here, one for each parameter. Make sure data type between prompts and parameter matches. Upon successful validation, this query subject will appear as normal. Adjust query item usage type. Create model query subject in business and our presentation view. And verify and publish the model. We are done with the Framework Manager 
piece and now we go ahead and create our report in report studio we will need two reports for this exercise a source and a target report let's begin with source report using go sales query package create a simple list report with product number product quantity and revenue all all from sales namespace we will also create two derived column modified by with session parameter of account default name and modified date with current timestamp we will also need a second query and in this query we will drag in product id comment user and entry date from our comment table join these two queries on product number and product id we are done with this report now go ahead and save this as main report for write back let's go ahead and create a new target report and in this report we will be using our insert comment query subject we will drag in all available query items and we will also create a prompt on this report with comment parameter that we have created in framework on the display page we will only display the product id and the comment itself do the necessary formatting and go ahead and save this report as writing back to database dash drill once this report is saved, we are going to open up our original report, which we saved as main report for write back. Open the main report and unlock the padlock. Now drag in couple of text item right next to comments report item. One is for space and the, in the second text item write insert comment text. You can enter anything you you would like with this text item selected click drill through definition add a drill through and select your target reports check open in new window and then hit edit icon for product ID user and entry date method is pass the data item value and then select appropriate data item with all the selection go ahead and click ok twice to enable the drill through close the padlock and save your report now we are ready to insert comments into database let's open our main report and try and insert some comments we will enter a couple of comments for product number 1110. After inserting these comments, we will query database to verify if comments are being saved. Let's execute our main report and click on insert comment text. Enter a comment in text box. I will write first comment for product ID 1110 click enter to insert this comment comment is successfully inserted let's refresh our main report and see this comment let's go ahead and enter a second comment for the same product number second comment for product ID 1110 let's go ahead and refresh our main report and see both comments the store proc in this state allows us to insert multiple comments for one product number. If this is the desired result, then we have successfully set up a mechanism to store data from Cognos. Now we can query our database to see these comments logged in comments table. Here are the two comments we have entered from our main report. We can further enhance this store proc to limit one comment per product number. Or better yet, 
give the user the ability to enter a comment and then update this comment. For this, we need to tweak our store proc a bit. In the revised code, we are checking if comment for a product number exists. If there is no comment for a product number, then we insert a comment. If there is a row present for a product number, then we simply update that row. Execute this code to alter the store proc. Let's head back to our main report and try to insert comment for product number 1110. We entered a comment and now refresh our report to see the outcome. We can go ahead and enter a second comment for this product number. This time around, we should only see the second comment as the existing row is updated. Final thoughts and consideration. User account accessing database from Cognos will need execute permission on the store procedure. It is advised to create a new user account with execute permission on the store proc. Create a new data source with this user and import the store proc with this new connection. This ensures that not everyone running reports in Cognos has execute permission on this store proc. This concludes this tutorial. Thanks for tuning in.